Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWGresearch.com. This is another, another RWG CRV comment response video. Man, look at my face. Jeez, I need to go shave. This hat's a little funky. Wow. I've had this hat for a long time. I think I'm going to go clean up and then uh, I'll be back. Oh man, I feel... Better. I may not look better, but I feel better. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna try to make this fast. First, I'm gonna turn this on autofocus, so it doesn't get out of focus, and then I won't get real close like this. Okay, I think we're in focus. So, first things first, this is a comment response video. But I'm gonna make it more like an update video, and I will answer some comments later in this video. Okay, so just bear with me if you want actual comment responses. I'll get there, but I want to inform as well. All right, so first things first, I need to remind you guys about the contest, the intro contest. You still have until the 18th of this month. That's almost like 17 days from now. I really encourage you guys, even if you think you can't enter, you think you can't do a good job, just put something short, sweet, and simple together and just enter it. I will be making something for the person who wins, okay? So it'll be fun. Just do it. All right, so briefly I wanted to tell you guys about my experience in the new year. I had a goal. My goal for the new year, it's not a resolution, but it's a goal. My goal was to work harder. How do you work harder? Don't sleep as much. That's the only way I found to work harder. I do a lot. So my goal for this year is actually to work harder. So if you see me looking a little droggy, a little tired, not as exciting, whatever, let me know. Now tell me and refresh my mind and let me know that I need to take a break. I've asked you guys a lot. What do you want me to do? What do you want to see? What do you want what kind of content do you want? What do you want me to produce? Well, guess what? 2016 is about what I want. I learned a lesson over the last year or so. If you don't enjoy what you do, it's not worth doing. I make this content, these videos, I make them for you. But I have to also enjoy them. Okay? So just... Reminder, if I show something about family and also working on a project or working on 3D printers or building something, it's because I enjoy it, okay? And it's hard. It's hard to balance. I make a bunch of videos and then I have no time to edit. I make a bunch of awesome things and I have no time to edit the film that I made making those things and it's like crap. So things are a little crazy. Just remember that. I am doing this for myself. It's a lot of fun. I want you guys to be engaged and have fun with what I'm doing but you gotta remember that I gotta have fun doing it and so I enjoy posting everything project related stuff research related stuff 3d printing a little bit of family here and there it's all about this channel okay it's all about what I'm doing things I've been doing helping other people showing fun things learning a couple of things maybe even throw in a little you know Bible stuff and little religion here and there it's fun okay it's interesting it makes things awesome it gets you guys engaged I like doing it so just please keep that in mind okay I have a question for you guys pulse motor build off I did not do one last year lots of reasons for that the main one was I was struggling with trying to make everything happen and it does take some effort to do pulse motor build off so a question a do you guys want me to do a pulse motor build-up? I want to do one. I just have to put a lot of effort into it. And it's a lot of fun. But, you know, if five people are going to engage, it's not worth doing. So I just, I need a little, you know, comment down below. Yeah, I want to do it. No, I'm not interested. Now, for those of you who are not interested, maybe because you're just over here doing whatever, that's fine. But I, I need the people who are, like, interested. Let me know. Let me make sure. Because I'm going to start collecting some prizes and doing some, some stuff to get that going. So please uh, let me know. All right, next quick question. Do you guys want me to do a Q&A live on this channel? Maybe like a Saturday evening or something like that. Uh, let you guys engage with me. I'll actually use the chat on YouTube for that, but I recommend going to the live channel. Don't forget, I do a lot of things live on my other two channels. I'll link those, but just remember that. So let me know if you want me to do a Q&A. Stop the video right now and answer that down in the comments. Okay? All right. Okay, Cold Fusion update for you guys. Yeah, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff with the Cold Fusion in the background. 
sort of a slow process. I just sort of release here and there what I'm doing. Um, so, eh, you know, but keep in mind, there is a lot of fun stuff I plan on doing. I just don't know when I'll get there. I'm not going to tell you what it is because then I'll feel guilty if I don't get there. Remember what I said last time? Yeah. Only tell people what you've done or what you're trying to do, but don't say you're going to do something because you have some, some weight on your shoulders and it gets heavy after a while and you just really stress out. Okay, anyway, I've relieved a lot of those, which has been very relieving, but I still have a few hanging around. Anyway, try not to make more. Got to keep reminding myself. So listen, the next video, which was supposed to be this one, is about something I'm doing with the uh, 3D printing. Now listen, it's really a fun project, even though it's based on 3D printing, it's based on a 3D printer. It's a fun project. I'm doing a step-by-step -step sort of this is what I went through to get here. It's sort of a think and do and see what I'm thinking as I'm doing it and then do it and then change my mind and do something different. It'll be fun for you guys, I think. So I hope you will enjoy it. It's called the RWG OSD series, which you'll find out what that is in the next one. Okay. Also, don't forget, okay, that I record a lot of content and then I don't post it for like two or three weeks later. And so I ask you questions in these videos, these upcoming video series that I'm working on with this 3D printing idea. And I don't, I, like, I want you to answer those even though I've sort of already got past the questions. But the thing is, is sometimes I'll go back and use your guys' comments. The whole, like, fun thing about posting these videos is getting to share with you guys what I'm doing and then like getting some feedback and then actually using your opinion in the project. That's a really fun thing to do, which is what I love to do. So just, I will put a date at the beginning of each video so you know when I actually recorded it. So you can sort of get an idea in your head of how far like ahead I am in the project even though I'm just releasing the videos. And a lot of it has to do with just getting around to editing it and putting it together and getting it. I have to pick and choose what I want to do. All right, also, just so you guys know, um, there is some pretty cool little documentary pieces. They're pretty short little pieces, two and three minute pieces that will be published on another website that's about my research and the research related to what we're doing at my current work situation, my job, which I work for a nonprofit organization called Quantum Gravity Research, which is why I say that at the beginning of my videos. And basically, uh, those little snippets of videos, I think I'm going to try to upload them here. But I will also like get you guys engaged with the other location where other things of this nature related to what I'm doing, but not directly what I'm doing, is there. And they're just fun little snippet contents. Hope you guys share those with people and enjoy. So look forward to that in the future. Okay, the last thing on my list before we get to the next subject. Does that make any sense? Anyway. There is this really cool thing that I got to do, which was go to Oregon. I filmed that video about the magnetic ring things. I went to go visit some other people while I was there. Hats off to you guys. That was one of the most blessing, like, adventure trips. That was only a, like a day and a half or two day thing. The, the people were so nice. Got to visit with great people, great minds, same atmosphere. Like, just, it was a very spiritual trip for me personally. Just so you guys know, I was surrounded with those type of people, and it was awesome. Now, while I was there, I got encouraged by a guy to read some books. Uh, those books are uh, the Hawking's Electrical Guides. There is a, book, it's a series of ten of them, okay? I found all ten of them for you. It was very difficult to find the last couple. They're, they're out there, but they're hard to find. I found all of them. I put them on my server. You should look at them. If you want to get introduced to electronics, you want to get introduced, introduced to electricity, these, but well, not so much electronics, but more electricity, and magnetism and coils and all this stuff then you should just check them out it's like a question answer book and it's written in like 19 uh, eight, was it 1917 or something like that and they're just really well written books so i encourage you to go read those i'll link that in the description
like, can you still stay and, at the um, point? They were like, can you still stay at the point? That'd be a good way to get your kids to make that like, clerk so you can't get there. Oh, yeah. you can't really freak them out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so my dad would be like, let's pick it up and throw it right there. Okay, uh, so as you can tell, I am a man of many hats. I wear many hats, but not just the ones on my head. Okay, I'm not talking about the hats on my head. I'm talking about the family hat, the Christian hat. Okay, I'm talking about the taking responsibility for your family hat, helping others hat. Okay, giving money to people who need it when you can do that hat like I wear many hats okay and so this channel is about those hats that I wear and I know I look really funny right now but I don't care because I'm being very serious right now I'm a man of many hats and I enjoy doing what I do and this channel is about that it's about having fun and doing what is like right and then sharing that with you giving you guys a little bit of stuff here to be helpful in your life giving you a little bit of knowledge of machining or you know thinking through a process and help you use those in other projects whatever the case may be okay it's very important now the last thing i want to say before we get to the comments is this hatless for this one thing i don't like pushing this stuff on you but i find this very important this is a little quote from the bible all right bear with me you will enjoy this i think this is a just a simple interesting thing that Anyone can apply to their life. They don't have to be religious. It doesn't matter. This is just something that's interesting. Uh, Galatians 6, 3. It says, if you think, are you, sorry, if you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. You know what that means? That means don't be so selfish that you don't help other people. If you think you are so important that you can't help someone else, you, you're just like in the wrong place right now. You shouldn't be watching this video, first of all. And I hope I'm preaching to most of you that actually like understand this. But just, you know, help those who you can help, okay? It's very important for you to think about that, okay? If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important, all right? That's it. Let's move on to the comments. Okay, so uh, it, apparently I posted a whole bunch of videos since the last time. Uh, one of the things is the back stairs uh, in the project of that gutter job that I mentioned on, uh, what was that? Thanksgiving, and I didn't get that video done. I have all the stuff in there, and I just need to, like, edit it. So it's one of those things. So I'll get to that. Um... Random cutting video, battery video. Somebody mentioned about the battery video, uh, the little uh, 1.5 rechargeable uh, lithium ion batteries, that they may have an output signal. I actually attempted to record a video of that signal, and it was pretty darn clean. So the, it is a bucking device inside that battery, so I, it's kind of strange that um, that's a good thought. However, I couldn't really measure anything. The only thing I could measure is actually on the high side, not the low side. It was a very constant DC 1.5 volt output. I was actually impressed. Anyway, um, cold fusion update. I really appreciate all the comments on that, on the calorimeter. I actually went through a lot of those uh, and went back and actually used those suggestions. And I'm actually making a third improvement. That was actually the second edition. I filmed the first edition and then just stopped, did a second edition and filmed it and released it. I didn't release the first version video that I made of that probably won't because it's sort of in the past uh, intro contest do that uh, I unbolted the thing on my car I actually got that fixed and then today out of all things all this time it's been working great and then today it started acting up again so psh, I don't know I'll work on it another day um, so the Rostock Delta upgrade I'm gonna actually read some of these comments because everything past that I sort of commented in the comments one of my goals is to actually like give you guys the feedback on the comments in the comments and not have to do it here but I just don't have enough time to do all of it so I'll respond to the the ones I have to here 
All right, Shazaz, what's up, dude? It's uh, so you asked me if you've tried 70G33 glass field glass field nylon. I don't really like to print with glass filled nylon. Apparently, that's not a great choice. But I haven't tried that stuff. Um, no. Truck stuff for you says great video, Russ. That is what I was talking about. My cheeks ache from grinning. Tell them all. Uh, a good, uh, it says tell them each a great grandpa sees them. I can't read. Anyway. Uh, they say, it's, you say hi and goodbye, Dave and Kenwood. Dude, you rock, man. I'm glad you enjoy. See, the thing is about, like, this video is, is, like, it's a whole bunch of chaos, but I'm pretty focused somehow, and I really appreciate comments like that, because it makes my little bit of effort to make a video like this, maybe a little more than a little, it really makes it worthwhile, so I appreciate these comments. All right, this guy I can't pronounce. I'm sorry. You guys have to forget. Oh, it's probably blurry. Uh, have you considered to make bearings, uh, the bearing holders out of aluminum? This will improve the temperatures. Is there a reason why you don't use standard bearings? Uh, um, okay, so briefly to answer your question on the aluminum holder, I plan on actually doing some PLA loss casting in the future sometime, and I'll be sort of making the parts out of loss cast PLA, and so they will be aluminum later. I could machine them, but it's more fun to do it that way, so I'll do it that way. Um, is there any good reason why you don't use linear, standard linear bearings? The round ones with the balls inside, the actual linear bearings, I actually did use those. And um, they were on there for almost, I guess, two and a half years or something like that. Whatever I did, three and a half years, I don't remember now. But however long I've said in this video. And they chewed into the railing. I kept them oiled, I kept them clean, and they chewed into the railing. So I decided to switch to bushings. Now, originally I thought bushings... Bushings wouldn't have enough, uh, they'd have too much friction, but actually that's not the case. It actually works better than I would have ever expected, so as long as you oil it right, I guess it's fine, or keep it keep it uh, nice. Alright, Zach Blog, dude, uh, I just realized you who you were and, and that you commented on this video, thank you. Um, I enjoy your videos, actually, they're pretty fun, I just saw the last one about the skull, I have no idea if you actually get to the end of this video, but... Um, you say, uh, still haven't gotten my Rostock printing. Haha, uh, build went smoothly, but I'm having trouble finding the time to calibrate the thing and get it printing. Calibrating that thing was pretty tricky at first, but once you really understand the rods and the links and where to edit that, and then, uh, like, w you really have to sit down and spend some time on it. It's, it took me like three months to really understand, and then now I'm even learning a lot more about really how to get that thing calibrated right. Uh, BC Strings 1, hey dude, what's up? So, um, hope you've been doing well, by the way. So, STL files, they're up. <laughs> I posted them on the later videos. <laughs> Patch Lead, he says, love it. Extreme YouTube videoing. Well done, keep it together. Well done keeping it together. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Somehow I was focused. Harris 30, I still got to make you that thing. Send to your kids. Still on my mind. That's one of those things on my shoulders that I really want to get done for you, but I'll get there eventually. Um, why did you bring the printer home from the lab? Because I don't have time to work on it at work. I have other things, priorities there, and so I bring it home so I can work on it here. Um, I think you will need all metal parts or ball bearings for this project. Uh, one TI Cannon says, I printed these eight lug style bearings and used them on my Prusa i3 printer. They seem to work great, printed in ABS. Uh, are the bushings you printed better? The ones you, I think in this, is the, the, the ones with the exact lines, like facing in. The helical pattern sort of, um, I, I did try that, but I ended up trying this one and I liked it better. So I think if it doesn't take much effort, you should just grab the ones I did, the long ones or the short ones or whatever you want to do. Um, the STL files are on my website, which is linked in the other videos. I think I linked it here. I don't know. Uh, I would actually uh, think about trying the other tile style, and then you can verify for yourself. But I like the ones that I printed. Okay, cut down now. 
All right, uh, Shark K I U L I says, Russ, I've been watching your videos about 3D printing for a long time, and you have lots of trouble with your printer. My advice to build another one like this on Thingiverse, blah, 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 blah. I have made mine um, after it, but I use the original frames files for this. Okay, so I looked at that link, and it's just a standard style printer from what I remember, XYZ platform. Here's the thing. I love my Delta. Um, I haven't actually experienced a regular X, Y, and Z style printer, but I love my Delta. Now, the Delta, when I first started, put off amazing prints. First time I got fired up, it just worked like a charm, and it's worked fairly decent ever since. It's just the, the parts break down, and when I originally built it, I think the framing isn't exact, and that's an issue. Um, so, oh, yeah, anyway, so that... I, I like it, and when you see the next videos, you'll see, you don't have to worry so much about that. All right, uh, all right, David, I can't pronounce your last name, this guy, he says, uh, <laughs> laugh out loud, your kids are loving it, it's nice to see happy kids. Yeah, they're not always like that, but occasionally when I do something fun and interesting, they're all right, but you know what, kids have been a blessing. Yes, there are days where I just want to pull my own hair out. And there are other days where it's like, why would I ever want to change anything the way it is? This is amazing. So it's, it's you know, back and forth. But yeah, all, at the end of the day, my kids are actually pretty darn decent, even though they definitely have their bad days. All right, guys and girls, I appreciate you watching. If you're still here right now, peace and love to you guys. If you skipped the whole front, you should really at least go watch it. It's important to go back and just view, listen, and hear what I have to say about a certain things, especially some announcements and stuff. Go back and watch the beginning of this video, okay? That's all I'm saying. Sorry about the long videos. Peace and love, you guys. Leave a comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't really matter. You know why? Because it's just a thumb up or just a thumb down. I'm still loving what I'm doing. See ya. I have got to clean... Look at my hats. Well, yeah. If you guys didn't watch the beginning of the video, you should. So, uh, I have to do some cleaning in here. Um, I've been trying to machine some bismuth parts for the uh, levitator kits. And my uh, ceiling was leaking while it was raining. So, luckily, nothing got wet like this. That would have been a disaster. I gotta figure out where that was leaking from. Anyway, I gotta clean this shop up at some point in life. It is uh, currently 11.38 p.m. on the 2-1-2016. Peace and love. God bless. Hopefully it was in focus. That would be awful if it wasn't. See ya. Also, I should put a different one on, I guess.